All right. So, since a lot of Risk of Rain 2 players seem to be struggling in uh, Risk of Rain Returns, I've took it upon myself to make this guide. So, first things first. Uh, settings. The most important setting of them all, the zoom scale. Best case scenario when you're um, looking through the map, always keep it zoomed out as much as possible. And you can also change the hard scale separately when you press X on controller, but it's written there what your input is. Mm. So, another important setting is uh, the accessibility options on the control to activate rapid fire, which makes playing melee uh, characters a lot easier. Right, that's the most important setting. Like I said here, if you're fighting a boss, for example, you can always change your zoom in between depending what you're most comfortable with or what you need but doing normal gameplay you should always be zoomed out all right so uh, the general game plan on monsoon difficulty is usually to rush to the teleporter and if we look at the map can i zoom out here further Anyway, with a lot of maps, there's two main um, layouts you have to uh, consider. Uh, and for that, let me just uh, does this work? No. Now it works. Okay. So, most map layout is. What did I just do? Either, either a straight line. Can I get a sticker somewhere? Or a circle. Can you imagine like that? So when we spawn somewhere here and we're looking for the teleporter, if you're completely zoomed out, we can usually just walk in a circle, making it a lot easier to figure out where everything is. One example is uh, when we have the slime map, which is pretty much four lines on top of each other, the slime cavern or what you want to call it. If you're completely zoomed out, if you are here, for example, you can see both of those uh, places, all three lines at the top. And so if you just walk like this, you have seen the entire map. Making it a lot easier to uh, find the teleporter. Best case scenario, you remember where the chests are so that you can then collect them once you have activated the teleporter. Right. I mean, with a lot of newer maps, there are those that are more like this, for example, like the Desolate Forest in the first stage, or the ice, which is like this. But it works out the same, pretty much. You just walk one line and have seen everything. All right, then to the game plan. I'm gonna play normal Huntress. It's pretty much the easiest character in the game, so it's good for beginners. Um, exactly. So on Monsoon. Quite like, that's pretty lucky, that's the smaller of the maps that's possible to get in the first stage and here because you're so zoomed out you can instantly see the teleporter so what we are doing is just rush there 
enemies only sc start scaling at one minute, so we have the easiest possible boss. Just kill him real quick. Killing the other people too. But I mostly just want to kill the boss. Not much to say here. The Murians, you can just jump over the basic attack, same as with the Colossus. He has two attacks, the one he just spawns with golems when he glads, or he has the storm, but you can also jump over the storm. And this is nice, you can just always keep shooting. And then you need to stop, and once you have actually killed the boss, then you start looting. Of course, as you can see, we still have 30 seconds until we can actually leave and we spend the time getting items, having a good time. I'm gonna wait for this until the enemies don't spawn anymore. So yeah, just maxing out on items pretty much. By being as fast as possible. Oh man, that was unlucky. Can I still get him? No way. Get Obviously it wasn't the plan, but it worked. I don't have the money. I guess just take this then. Oh no, just going to the teleporter. And we pretty much finished the entire map in 3 minutes by looting a bunch of items. It's pretty much the best way it can go. Obviously this was only the first map, so the next map probably not go that perfectly. But minute 3 we activate the teleporter. Perfect. Damn caverns. Definitely one of the bigger maps. But what can you do? It's a bit convoluted here, going left, going right, but the overall layout is still just the same, going in a circle pretty much. Just one way all around. Yeah, we ignore, uh, not, we ignore every single enemy. All we want is the teleporter. I mean, we play hundreds, so we can just attack them regardless, but we mainly just want to leave. If you play another character, which obviously can't just kill people while walking around, it kind of depends if there's a bunch of easy enemies stacked on top of each other and you want the money, you might just that would be nice. We might just one shot a bunch of enemies real quick. I kind of want to go to it to get faster. Or, uh, like that for example. You can do this with other characters. Here I want to go to the top because if you can you see the camera we can see everything that's below us, us but if we would have gone but if we would have walked below us we couldn't have actually have seen up here because the camera would have centered on top of us which obviously wouldn't be what we want. So oh 
and see we can test the teleporter. Might be long. Walked exactly the wrong direction at the beginning. But that's how it goes. Yeah, the magma worm pretty much. You can only do damage when you go through the ground and you can jump over the damage. The nice thing about the magma worm or the vacuum, for example, is that they follow you so you can just walk around looting everything while killing the boss. Having no problem. Like this. That's pretty much the strategy, just walk around. Get the item. If I had scouted better and worked a bit less, I would have actually known where the items are. I might work the same way in the time, but you know what it is. And you get the item. Tough times. anything to the left? You know what, I'm just gonna work the same way again. Kind of wasting a lot of money now, but uh, time, not money. But that's what happens when you try to explain what you're doing. Yeah. A big part is always just knowing what the enemies can do and how you can dodge them. A lot of basic enemies you can just Jump over the hitbox. So it's usually what you want to do. Usually it's either you can jump over the hitbox or you can just walk by them because they attack slow enough. Like for example, um, the Lemurian. Lemurian. You can jump over the hitbox or the golem. You can't jump over it, but you can walk next to it. Yeah, can I get there? Yeah. I guess. Nice. I don't know if I can go the same more way back. Yeah. I mean, this is a good example. Like the stage before were absolutely perfect, and this was a lot of pointless walking in circles. Can go either way. But yeah, like I said, just focus on teleporter, activate it, and then do it after. It's pretty much the strategy once you know that and zoom out. It's just about figuring out how to play your character and learning any process. These guys, you can also jump over their attacks if they're giving you trouble. Ooh, I did it! Honestly, I thought I would fuck it up. Red Whip, amazing item. It's kind of awkward to use on Huntress because you can't spam your attack like usual. Okay, Force and Thunder. Obviously also unlucky. The worst possible map to get. No other map that's this big. But Red Whip it definitely helps. Can you do? I mean, it's same as usual. Also, if you spam jump while going up, you can actually go faster. That might help. I don't think there was anything here, right? No. I mean, it's better than nothing. But if you do it while you're on such a walk, just on the side of a walk, you will just fall down. So. Don't do it in that situation. 
Oh, a lot of big chests here and the drone. Man, maybe I come back here. Like it's really awkward to come back somewhere to farm on Frozen Thunder because of the terrain, obviously. But I... Oh! Do we do it? I mean, it would be awkward if I just fucking die here and have to redo... Uh, more to try and take more. I don't like the law. They are honestly... Yeah, they are one of the worst bosses that could have been it. Because you... They are really hard to do. Ah, I guess the other guy would have been better. Okay, I'm just gonna do the good old strategy of running for my life. Always there. Uh, you know, the thing is with running away, that enemies gonna spawn, spawn regardless. Either they're all gonna spawn on the same place, or if you do it like me and run for your life, they're gonna spawn. Uh, all over the map, so you never have to fight so many enemies at the same time because you can pretty much uh, just spread the enemies out, so it's a lot easier. Come on, die! If it's not that many enemies here, we can easily fight them. Just jump around. Oh, there's a healing one. Good man. I mean, my items are not that amazing, but it is what it is. At least we have gasoline. Oh yeah. I'm gonna use this arm here. Oh wow, so just a bit close. And the clay main did pretty much get stabbed repeatedly. You can also jump over the clay main damage. They're pretty much just better Lemurians. Uh. So. Let's try again. The no one is trying bosses, my god. Why do I do this kind of thing when I'm trying to record a tutorial? Obviously, usually in most two mountains shrines are not worth it because even if you can beat all of them, time you waste is not worth, like I said. For those few items you get, I'm gonna zoom in here. Should go to bit better. Here, if they do the stash, you want to jump through them. You can't really dodge it though without an ability. Ah, uh, head. Uh, okay, we're, we're doing work though. Oh, that's really amazing. Just run away, let all the normal enemies spawn somewhere else, and give you a death line. Whoa. See, this works! Oh no, the other guy comes. Couldn't you just stay away? <gasps> okay, got one. Oh yeah. Important strategy against those guys. I can look what I have. I'm too bad to actually time these kind of things, so what can I do? Alright. Like I said, absolute in here, but it's fine. Uh, same as always, just walk in a circle. Going here, any kill border here. Down here maybe. You know what, I'm not gonna do it again. If it's a cremator, I'm gonna cry.
Like, of course, I usually would take it. It's the law, but this is a tutorial, so what can I do? Uh, is it up here? No. Really getting low here. Oh, I found it. Ah, oh, there's a mic line. Ah, ah! What? Ouch! Oh, my God. I really need some healing. Oh, it's a team later. Okay, but he spawned at a good place. Oh, two spawned everywhere. Oh man. Okay, the bottom one is really toxic, but the other one is still there. Uh, don't do it. Oh, let's keep jumping. The best way to do it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I really do love fun. Just what can I say? I'm just waiting for the time at the end and there are no enemies to spawn and then I can kill the enemies. I should loot more though. Kind of late in my time now. Hey, up to the heat, please. Okay, we have the timer finished, so that's nice. Okay, this is perfect. Maybe I should just go in for faster, let my bones do some work. I mean, this is the easy one, the other one is gonna be scary. There's a chest. Give me something good. Nope. Bad. Bad. And I can't do these things. Should have just stick with my codex of always taking the first item. Would have been better in this case. Kind of scam if you don't land this with uh, so. okay, uh, I think I slowly have figured out the key made uh, not I actually need it for always to work for absolutely worthless item, thank you. Okay. And we wash the base, we have looted the entire map. I mean there would have been items at the bottom but I don't want them. I want to get out.
time they're getting trolled by Fireberg. Okay. Uh, where is we going? Should have not shot. Oh, that's nice. I don't know about that one. And again, one for my line. Hey, the actually movement speed of the boss is actually pretty nice. My bad for doubting. I guess if it's a clean item, that would be a go. Clean items would be bad, am I right? Hey! The most useful item in the game! Uh, where am I even going? Uh, uh, oh! Ukulele. That's why I love. Do I even have any monster tools? Monster tools and power were tools are really nice in this situation. Cast all these charms, everything else fails, just spam charms. Hey, there's an item. This is also surprisingly good to spike strip. I don't know how it stacks, but just the normal one is really nice. Oh, all my opponents died. Oh, just to come from random. Okay, this is kind of me. This is very nice one. Anything here? Maybe down there. This one. I'm missing one. Oh! I mean, it's a bit late, but this is the best item in the game, so. Yeah. I'm not sure how useful it's gonna be here. I mean. They're really just one of the easiest puzzles in the game, what can I say? They're doing a little bit. Something, if you actually have to normally fight them and can't use them like I'm doing here, um, their front foot is where the hitbox are and you can't jump over it, so maybe that helps. You can also just look at the wiki, uh, like wiki.gp, which is when you just Google, uh, which is when you can really don't go on the don't go on the phantom one, go on digi.gg and there's also the attack patterns of the bottle described which might be useful I can't like after burner pretty nice I'm always playing like I have a double jump but I don't have that's the best item but it's not that useful against providence so don't take it I mean providence is the only real challenge anymore I mean, in the last map, if you really wanted to, you could just ignore every single enemy. Just walk to the ending. I do... I'm gonna go loot. I think that's a better strategy though, so... Because there are so many items here. So that's not too. Maybe I'm getting my double jump here. That would be nice. Also, getting a bit of... Uh, what's it called? I think fusion before the was can I mean, I have to wait here anyway. My points are fine. Look at my money, I'm already here. One useful thing... Can I? One useful thing... You can like, these thing things give a lot of money. Can I? Give a lot of 
Mann, der wurde nicht mehr. Das war das Player ever wieder mal rein. But what you can do... Is there a healing zone? You can just activate them all at the same time. Pretty much. You know what? Okay, no, I got shit actually. Oh, I don't even have enough money for that. Nice. And yes, uh, Here we are combiner, I could, could I even already get the gold one? Three of stone? Two dragon, right? I mean we are healed again. I don't want to see it. Actually, not that much. Only the one thing at the bottom. I don't know that I get. Okay, I don't have the money, neither. Yay, the baby! Oh, nice! Like I said, always take the first one, it never fails. Except for the one time it did. Never fails when it doesn't fail. Okay. Here, anywhere recycler? No, mine. Uh, another recycler upgrade station for the drone. That would be so amazing. Oh, yeah, that's the next one. And we are full health by the way. And another two. Oh, I don't need money again. Hello, I need money. Bones are really nice against Providence, so... I mean, Bones are just nice and general in this game. Man, four of those. No. We're really getting somewhere here. again take the first one failed this time but oh well kind of, oh there's a key card was that the only one or did i just miss everything i might have just missed it okay we have four of those man i really want to find the upgrade okay. Okay, there's another one, and there's a lot of money here. Yeah, it wants to work at this point. And the fireworks too, my god. They still don't have a double turn. Two key cards and seven K. That's nice. That will to the this place against Providence, but I guess it's all of those ones. There's nothing to fear anyway. My favorite place to open is the storage. Lots of money. Lots of items. That's nice. Uh, can I get up there? Oh, that's absolutely amazing, the Royal Drill against Providence. Hey, okay. I mean, we're pretty sad. Where do I go with the last one? Do I, I guess I go up there for the island. Like the med bay, I find it pretty cool for the healing. But Oh, 
Why then? There's no power. So why not? Uh, I mean, I find the guns pretty useless if I'm gonna be honest. I didn't get any. Oh, it was fun. So what you could do is just to go for it. Apart from that. That's not enough money. This is the good thing I'm going to Oh, that's nice, I guess. I could use the other half to the first half. And then we are out of here. No, we won't go on this thing. Oh, we didn't get our upgrade anything. Was there no item in there? What? It looked like there was no item. So again. Let me lose, lose me. Hey, I still have a card, I don't care. We are definitely strong enough. Hey! Firstly, we are against Providence. You slash down, you can actually jump over this downward thing. Oh, yeah, you could have jumped over, but it jumped too late. Here's a sideward slash when you're in close range, which you can't jump over. If you ult, um, and you hit the ground and the fire thing is happening. Uh, you can also jump over if you actually knew what we were doing, and apparently not. Um, oh yeah, they they can either bite you. That's when the head uh, gets red, like we just saw there, or they have their lasers here. That's all the attacks they have. It's pretty doable to dodge. We want to know how they work. Yeah. Also, they are same as the... Yeah, that's not how to do it. But anyway, I'm overpowered at the moment. But yeah. That's how you are supposed to do it. You have to do it. Ah, uh, yeah. Like I said, I mean, you can jump over, you can still get damage done, so that's something. I can do, but I have so much money, I can always just buy them back. I mean, I am kinda carried this one at the moment, I'm really not playing well. But yeah. Who is like this? There shouldn't be any problem. Wedding room. Hello. Providence. I miss you. There is again. I like to keep it tuned out when fighting Providence so I can always see where I can go and where it's dangerous. But that's not my face for the most part. Uh, damn, all my drones are about to die. I jumped over it perfectly this time. Haha! <laughs> Killing him with the firework, perfect. For buying my drones. Oh yeah. So, and that's how you win at Risk of Rain Returns. Works every time as long as you know what your character does.
Obviously, uh, Huntress is the easiest character, so it's a good for beginners. If you still want to play on easier difficulties because you don't really know what the enemies do yet, the same strategy pretty much works exactly the same. Um, and if you play on Twizzle, you might not have enough money to buy your items, but then just buy as many items as you can afford and then go next. So, yeah. That's pretty much it. I hope it helps. Then, until the next time, I guess.